This came out in 2011. <laughs> so, that's a good thing. Wow. Oh my it's goodness. Face. We are traveling, we are adventuring out. That's the expansion tour. You can introduce yourself too. Cool, yeah. yeah. Just on right now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Josh, uh, Josh Brennicke with uh, a lot of grassroots organizations here in LA, California for Progress, March and Rally, uh, Ground Game LA, uh, White People with Black Lives, Black Lives Matter, uh, American Indian Movement SoCal, the list goes on. I was happy to meet these three gentlemen here and we were talking about Black Lives Matter and what the Los Angeles chapter is doing uh, here in LA. Uh, our public defender, her name is Jackie Lacey. Uh, as you may or may not know, we were just talking about L.A. County as one of the most horrific, you know, killing rates in the LAPD, especially of African-American young males. And the last 10 to 11 weeks, the L.A. chapter of Black Lives Matter have been meeting outside of Jackie Lacey's office to demand that she either prosecute these killer cops or she get out of office. Uh, there are more people more qualified to talk a lot about what Black Lives Matter and White People for Black Lives Matter are doing here in Los Angeles. I come to grassroots groups organizer to support strong organizations like Black Lives Matter, White People for Black Lives Matter, the American Indian Movement. Um, you know, this is all stolen land, stolen Tonga land. Um, the the native indigenous tribe out here is the Tonga tribe, among a few others. There's the Heshima, and there's 15 tribes within the Tonga reef. So. I could go for hours <laughs> talking all about that, but I do want to just give respect to the native community out here in Los Angeles and in San Antonio. I don't know if there's any native representation out oh, there. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, um, it is. Yeah. But I, I know yeah. in Houston, I think that's where the Ames Ocal chapter is too, so it's good to hear that native people are standing up, you know. They're not just washed away after standing up, because that's how that's how society is, you know? People see it on their phone, they'll check in, they'll say, oh, I mean, there's a Facebook filter, I stand with uh, whatever the cause may be. Yeah. And they keep that up for like a month, and then they're on to the next thing, you know? And, and that's a very privileged, colonial lifestyle that like, I've been guilty of. I've been guilty of, like. Mine is mine is Yeah. Absolutely, but the, the, the important thing is for those who may see this and be like, man, like this guy's hating on people that are like that way. I'm not hating on you. I'm just saying continue to do it, you know. As a white man, I have the privilege to decide if I'm going to fight for these issues or not. Not everyone has that privilege. This is some people's life, a lot of people's lives. You know, so if you're watching and you're saying, damn, what can I do? Just start asking, like, talk to these guys, talk to other people in your neighborhood, and, you know, just talk about this shit, right? Because we've been sweeping this shit underneath the rug for so long, way beyond my years, way beyond all of our years, exactly. you know? Exactly. I hate to say it, but Trump's a blessing in disguise because people are fucking waking up. I said the same thing. You know? I said the same thing, man. It's actually, it's actually good things in office. <laughs> oh man, we're in California. K stacks. You guys, <laughs> I'm I'm thinking about so many different things right now. <laughs> Royal King Minus is in the car. Yo, Mr. Composition. In Cali. We are in Cali. Mr. We're Composition Cali. got the camera right now, dab trolling it up, making those videos, those 
There's dope nap troll videos. I'm over here kinyoing it up. Project forward skills, idea park skills, rest skills. And here in California, I'm, I'm reaching the top epiphany right now. <laughs> you back home. You back I'm, home. I'm back home. You back That's home. True. You in your <laughs> element. Like, you this back home. Spot. That's why I'm having home feelings again, home thoughts. <laughs> I was basically on a journey for the last five years. Well, no, I, was, I came back here, buddy, uh, you know, six months ago. But I'm just realizing my purpose your in purpose. the universe. How long have you been in San Antonio? Huh. Uh, San Antonio. Man, I've been there for five years. Five years? Okay. I really just went to San Antonio to make money, now that I think about it, um, <laughs> which is kind of funny, but California, mm, mm, mm. Thank you. Mr. Cobb, haven't we, we, we've been, we've been having thoughts, we've been having mucho, super thoughts, mucho, mucho thoughts, basically the idea of expanding, as above, so below, when you are physically going to new places, um, or uh, just going outside of your regular norm, what that does as far as to your mind within, you know, so if you've never been to a place, like the way that I look at it is like, kind of like in a video game or anything like that, when you get to a certain spot or achievement unlock or anything like that, certain parts of the map starts becoming visible with your ability to be able to um, now access those. I, was trying to, I thought I could see the Coachella stage already built. They probably already have it built. Uh, no, probably not. Never mind. It's too early. And but so, yeah, yeah. like that Seriously, idea yeah. of expanding out and it mentally, like, you mentally expand your brain to the point that, to me, it's almost like you have, like, you're in this circle and within this circle you have, like, a ball or something and because you're confined in there there's such tight space for that ball to move and when you physically and mentally expand now instead of this little part for the ball to move in it's now like huge and so instead of it bouncing along these closed you know containment it's now just like shh, 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 shh. and that's what i'm thinking with my thoughts right now with expanding out is that oh snap like there's so much space that is cleared up in my head just from physically being a place because I've been to Los Angeles before. I've been to California for once um, and that was coming in through a plane. We just went through Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and now we're in freaking California driving. And so I've never been to Arizona. Um, we went through parts of that, uh, New Mexico because we just went to Albuquerque, New Mexico before. So we went through different parts of New Mexico that we had never been through. And then going through Arizona, um, never been there with the Phoenix, you know, so that was already super dope. And now we're driving, we're now in California. We've passed through Coachella, or actually in Coachella. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Multiple different levels. I'm going to try to explain it right now. Because I'm realizing, you know, I'm, I'm in, when I'm in San Antonio and I'm really working, I'm an engineer mode. You know, like, I'm a, I'm a super engineer when I really think about it. You know, like, when I, when I pull, put stuff together, uh, it's because I always like to watch the water flow through, which is something I like to say all the time. But I used to, when I was a kid, I used to love carving the little pathways with the hose at the top and then you watch how all the water flows through. <clears throat> and now it's just that on a big level. And this expansion has expanded my mind to make me realize the level to which that engineering I put into systems for things that I do. Like if I look at the rest stop, what, I'm, what, a, what kind of system I was perfecting there as far as having a system to invest in good products, good cultural goods, and then the distribution of that out and having something that can be connected to a media, uh, which is just an attention system. And then I have Project Ford, which is the attention system. And then having within that the ability to build um, people up, because I know that people who watch stuff like, that's what they want. You shouldn't have to watch stuff and then have it be a closed end loop where you're watching then going back to your life. But with Project Ford, I built this whole thing where you get to watch and then do if you're so inclined or you can just find deeper ways to be in it. And then there's idea parties, which is the top level crazy 
this of, of, of everything that it is to be an entrepreneur or an artist, oh, man. Engineering. <laughs> you got you got some epiphanies. You got some some stuff on your mind. You know, just the same. Just, you know, my same words to live by. You know what I mean? Uh, and this is shout outs to people that you know what I'm saying. Cause that's just there's this dream, dream, dream makers and dream believers and, and, and you know that, that work with on the heart that we have and want to make a living and take care of your loved ones. You know what I'm saying? Never give up. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and always stay active and always keep your feet moving. Because, you know, as, as the as the cliche saying is, you know, I grew up in a Baptist, I grew up in a southern that's I, southern home, you know what I'm saying? So they always I used to always hear my mother say, you know, you take two step take one step to God and God makes two steps towards you. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing within the universe. You're doing what you're supposed to do, remain active and with your goal and you're supposed to do in life, then it's gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? Regardless what it is that you do, you know what I'm saying? So always keep staying in motion and keep your keep your body moving, at, keep your body in rotation, you know what I'm saying? Just as this planet is, it stays in rotation. You know, stay in balance. You know that saying? is that is real stuff right there. And as Royal Minus was saying that, I thought about, as he would say, it was continuing rotation. And you know, you think about rotation, you think about tires, you think about spinning, and what that does, like for example, with your alternator, your alternator accumulates its charge by moving. <laughs> you know, and so when we used to walk on this land barefoot, you know that charging that was going on while we were charging ahead and why they say that we're charging right. ahead you know what i mean that's right that's right. <laughs> that was very <really> cool <laughs> that's real you have to pick up that one <laughs> this is natural creations this composition mc that writes fiction it's kenyo poet author entrepreneur <laughs> Royal King Midas, I'm a boy. Thug life. Expansion. Expansion. You know, I'm gonna stop saying thug life. Dab troll life. <laughs> oh yeah. Dab troll life. Dab troll life. Dab life. Dab life. Dab life. And not even the regular like dab bull. This is the master dabbler right here. Mm -hmm. At its at its smallest. The dab troll is literally me looking into the future and it's all gonna connect watch yeah man i appreciate that this came out in 2011 <laughs> so that's a good thing wow Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Oh, the late side of rain. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did, sort if you, of. If you want to take my car, let me um, do it. Send me the photos and I'll post them on my Instagram and give you a little shout. Woo! Awesome. You know, whatever helps. Yeah.
Um, we both just had meetings with NBC. Uh, I didn't sell, but he sold two projects. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but well, I, 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 don't, I don't know. You did. You might have had a right. meeting. Well, I'm Isabella, folks. It's nice to meet you, brother. So, yeah. So you guys can check out Halitosis, the Legend of Stank Mouth on Amazon Prime UK right now. We're getting a Blu-ray release pretty soon, and we're going to be releasing domestically in the U.S., Canada, to soon to follow, and other territories. What was the hardest thing about producing? Uh, so, it's a matter of relationships. So, I've been in the film industry for over seven years, and so I've been fostering those relationships in all that time. And so, as a producer, you have to be, able, you have to be a master delegate. So, as a producer, you're the manager, and you have to organize things and get shit done. So, you have to be able to trust in your team. So let's say you need somebody to do something. Uh, if you want the production designer to do something, you gotta say, hey, I trust this production designer, I'm gonna do that, and you produce. And then you say, hey, the line producer's gonna get this done, I'm gonna make sure that the UPM gets what they need done, they get the crew and the cast on set. So depending on what people need. So, it's about delegation as a producer. But you have to be an, an excellent communicator. You have to have trust with your team. The train to Union Station has arrived. Please stand back from the end of the line. Once you get that, that's the one 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 that's me up Isabello Pasqual, I S A B E L O P A S C U A L. Isabello Pasqual. Proving ground, new project. We have director Joel Bender attached. We have veteran producer Robert Amico, as well as some other actors that we're working on. So you guys can look that up. You guys can follow my hashtag Alpha Fantana, A L P H A. Run away, run away, my sweet babe, why you can Run away, why you can Run away, run away, run away, my sweet babe, why you can Run away, why you can Run away, run away, run away, my sweet babe, why you
too there's a lot of people that don't even know what bravo tipping app is and what it does and so that's the beauty of having sponsorships is it allows for two people with that both need something to come together and work together to be able to get awareness out to them and bring awareness as far as us at the same time and there's people who you know would get the bravo tipping app and find it very beneficial whether you're a live you know music venue whether you're an art venue whether you're an artist or a musician or you know whatever it is that that you have you know this is a very groundbreaking way that you can use your your phone and a lot of people don't walk around with change you know just imagine the you know level up that a lot of musicians who um do music on the side of the street like that's just their thing and then you know they have as far as this little tip jar but you know they can put that they're on the bravo tipping app and people you know can just be like oh wow boom anonymous because some people are afraid to come up to the artist which is understandable but you know this gives a level of support to where the person giving you the tip feels good and it's easy going there you know it's 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 keeping up with the time of this digital world you know if everything is going digital why not your tips or a way that you're able to tip um i don't have a job right now and I don't have pajamas either. I just switch in all the t-shirts from all the jobs I got fired from. Um, they make great pajamas. That's how you know it's a bullshit job anyway, if it's a t-shirt involved. Terrible. You know the worst part about finding a new job? Getting to know a whole new group of white people at your new job. Because white people are like a box of chocolate, you know? Most of them suck. <laughs> They do, that's what I'm They do, this is Black History Month, and Eric knows, I can say what I want this month. I can say what I want this month. They do know. I always work for these white managers who write me up, and black people don't sign right up to work. I don't know if y'all ever worked with niggas before, but we don't sign right up. Um, this one white manager wrote me up, she said I wasn't a team player. I was like, really? Hmm. Does this sound like a winning team to you? Eleven dollars an hour and no health insurance is not the team that I would choose. Then I read down further and said I'm inconsistent on a regular basis. I'm like, get my consistent inconsistency consistent. I'm not signing this right up. That's... They always ask you questions they don't want honest answers to with these interviews. What are your core values? Okay, well, core value number one, smoke weed every day. That's core value number one. <laughs> core value number two is only pop it for the real niggas. Those are my core values. <laughs> so, they don't want to know that. They don't want to know that. They want you to do everything, though, in the name of customer service. We got to mop, have a good attitude, you know what I mean? Be CPR certified. Like, what? I'm not saving a life for $11 an hour. You know, I'm here to do the, this job to the best of my $11 an hour ability, and that does not include saving lives. Put my mouth on strangers. Um, what else is there? What's going on? Yeah, this is Black History Month. So white people, if you want to buy me a tea in the form of reparation, um, call, it even, call it even for a coffee, you know? Um, the job that I used to have, though, I worked at a wine bar. That was my. Did you do that? No. I worked at a wine bar. That was my last job. And it really pisses me off how much free time white people have on their hands, you know, to do stuff like taste wine. I would try to ruin their time. I would go up to their table as ghetto black bitch, because nobody wants a ghetto black girl explaining wine. Nobody wants that. Can you imagine? I go up to the table. I'd be like. Okay, so you want something dry. Well, wine is wet, so if you want something dry and wine is wet, how are we gonna work this out? I will try to ruin that time. Black people piss me off at a restaurant too, though, especially black women. I hate serving black women at a restaurant. They they always want to talk about their bill at the end. Uh, excuse me, we've been ordering our gratuity. Um, <laughs> girl, did you order a glass of gratuity? I didn't order. <laughs> What are y'all? Y'all just stand for here? 
I like me some Latina and Latina if I like y'all. I am, um, especially the ones on those Everest College commercials. <laughs> I call it Neverest College, because what are you going to do with a degree from Everest? Like, they be selling dreams. Come, come clean the guts off the scalpels and they, they call them the surgical technologists. Like, they, you know. But the girls are, they're always so serious. They're like, on the commercials, like, you could do it. <laughs> like, if you're sitting there looking all lazy, you're whack, dude. Like, you could do it. I did it, and you could do it, too. Like, in nine short months, I could have had a baby, but I have a degree, you know? <laughs> and the faculty, they're all so cool. They always like, accurate and stuff, and that's going to be me one day. My white home girl, she had the nerve to tell me, I have a confession. I think Mexicans are dirty. I said, bitch, clearly you've never had one before. They all smell like fabric softener or fabuloso. They do laundry like 10 times a week, taking up all the dryers. I love y'all. And I can't believe Trump would ever build a wall to keep people out. You know what I mean? Isn't that crazy? What would I do without chips and salsa and margarita? Like, y'all have brought so much to America. And you be doing all the work when I work with y'all. Great. Yeah, we're lazy. I'm black people are. Especially, don't let me work. I'm gonna get so cool with all the Mexican girls at work. They come to work with eyebrows on like at five in the morning. Eyebrows, makeup, hair slicked all back, they be ready. Okay, well, I'm Dicey, you guys are great. <laughs> I am more than the skin that covers my face. No greater than the one finishing last in the race. Words that are spoken can never replace. I am more than the skin that covers my face. To be more than lips, breasts, and curves, there is nothing worse than being judged by these terms. Oppression, discretion, a man's obsession. If only they knew. Depression. I am more than lips, breasts, and curves. I don't think you've really heard me or even stopped to understand. I am more than a cat call, a girl, that light skin. I am more than the skin I am in. I am more than the color of my skin. Can each color truly be defined? Do you see what I see and in between the lines? The skin I'm in has no color. The skin I'm in has no shape. The skin I'm in is defined by his one and only son. In his image, he created us all as one. I am more than the struggles that I face. There is no burden he cannot replace. Beauty in faith, there is beauty in faith. The skin I'm in is soft and smooth. Hidden are scars that cannot be removed. The beauty of my struggle, no discrimination in race, shape, or type. My skin denies its enemies. There is no victory in hate. The skin I'm in wears love as its armor. The skin I'm in is a beautiful disaster. I look to my left and I look to my right. The skins I see are just as mine. I smile and nod, not once questioning color, heart filled with hope. My skin defines no other. Who claims her crown? Who takes the stage? But why is she beautiful? What does her soul have to say? What consumes her thoughts and what's in between each curve? How can you speak her value without respecting what can't be heard? No one sees her tears, not one falls down either cheek. Her loyalty knows no boundaries, but her trust is weak. Take it from me, she is loyal. Take it from me, she hides her pain. Take it from me, she sees white privilege. Take it from me, her soul filled with compassion shall forever remain. Clothed in beauty, she smiles at fate. She smiles at death and she smiles at hate. She smiles the smell of his sweat on her skin. She smiles when he looks from deep within. The skin I'm in is resilient. The skin I'm in is determined, compassionate, defiant, triumphant. She walks with the switch he knows all too well. Bags under her eyes, the grace of the gazelle. In tune with the pulse beating beneath her skin. If only they understood the skin she was in. The eyelash switch gases came from the bass in the bass dancing. The way they cast me yet, we need my attributes to get deceased presidents, reparations, recaptions, no relapsing, it's a close caption. We like to reinvent the fast and give me a new look for a change. Hell, look like they got some mange. So low down, dirty shame. And how about can't yo? So do that, yo, yo, so do that, yo, yo, so do that, yo, yo, we do that, yo. Expansion tour, yo, we do that, yo. 
we do this. Yo, we do this. Somebody say do this. Say do this. Do this. Do this. Yeah. Somebody say do this. Do this. Do this. Do that. Yo, we put the socks back before we house you. We got you. Yo, we got you. Yo, we got you. Yo. Yo, this is a little rush. But I gotta tell you, before we as soon as we got to Cali today, we got into this worst, terrible car wreck. We like got mangled. <laughs> the car was mangled. Mm -hmm. We'll check it. But anyway, we made it here safe, and that's all that matters. And I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Me and my man, Mr. Composition, right here. We're going city to city on this expansion tour. Breezy. With breeze, you know what I mean? This right here is for a young friend of mine. But the names have been changed to protect the innocent. Let's go. Yo. Yo. Peace, Queen Earth, mother of civilization, universe. I see you with your purse and expensive taste. And that, of course, in a case you need a healthy course meal. Yo, and I feel that we can chill, build later, when the sun and moon crescent is out. And without a doubt, I'm all about natural, and that's your style. See your smile just light up the place for folks mentalized and no surprise will surpass Your ass got too much class and you too fast For the young slim with the tilted brim Bright star shining just looking like a gym I gotta light up the hip Yo, she used to call me a pimp But I'm not, it's so, this is breezy Breathe, breathe easy, breathe easy What's your name? Yo, and, and we came from Cause you're so Breathe, breathe, breathe easy, breathe easy, breathe easy. Yo, and we got what your mind is. Check it, still waiting for the call. You get a phone ring with that? Woo! Come on, peace. Yeah, but right now we've got this man, another cool name. So I want you guys to give it a nice and loud first time as well, right? First time love for Mr. Composition. Check, 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 one, two, one, two. My name is Mr. Composition from San Antonio, Texas. Hip-hop artist and MC. Yo. Yo. The first screen, chaos scattered across the cut. Green, black and light, like such green. They get some force scene exposures from the home team. What does it mean? They yell false flags, so it's always there to intervene. No conspiracy theory, just to have this hell of me to speak my mind over this dangerous melody. These hate crimes against humanity cause me to lose my sanity. All they dreams for casualties, the proof of war is cowardly. The wheels starts turning, hoping they get the big end. All I gotta say is don't confuse a hero for a henchman. Kidnap your identity, goodbye your independence. It sets you up, and then they scream at us for justice Try to give you a life sentence and wonder why They come at us with a vengeance Who do you look to when no one else is dependable? They don't really care about us cause we're all expendable So don't lie to me man, it's all a part of the plan You wanna play with our life cause you feel that you can We're expendable, 
right, we're expendable, right? Just to let the cold body feel your signature, right? So don't lie to me, man, it's all a part of the plan. You want to play with our life because you feel that you can. We're expendable, right? We're expendable, right? Just to let the cold body feel your signature, right? How y'all feel? How y'all feel? Hey, my name is Mr. Composition. We are on tour from San Antonio, Texas. This is my first time performing in Los Angeles, so yeah, super dope. Making sure I don't got no glass in my hair, like you said, we got into an accident. <laughs> it was crazy, so uh, yeah, let me get to the next one, man. We got CDs and merch, so if you like it, hit us up, network, definitely want to come back. Not to come back. Start next year. There we go. Yeah, my name is Mr. Composition. Yeah. Listen for the sound of the lost cause. Scream out with lost jobs. The journey's never ended for the pin dance. I don't know when, I don't know how. But it's coming soon. Any day now, any day now, any day now. Yo, it's coming soon. Any day now, I don't know when, I don't know how. But it's coming soon. Yo, uh, these faded thoughts never felt so sober Right in the detox, you know when the feeling is closer Yeah, the feeling is closer, the one I feel when it's over Yeah, my passion is burning, the one diminishes and smolder And then it's moving closer, drop the toxic in my blood veins It's cold rain, feels like fire to the king of pain Something's coming and I see it through the blurry game Keep it moving, moving side, it's like a Honda cane Now paranoia just prepping for the days to come The twist of time will decide if I stand or run Heard it all before, they say change will come To cess the trouble, I'm expecting be the one, it's to the point when I see my to the stage presses, pray to the heavens, to my thumbs are breathless, watch for the moon affecting everything I found, it is coming soon, any day now, this is for the sound of the lost cause, scream out with lost jaws, the journey's never ended for the pin dance, I don't know when, I don't know how, but it's coming soon, any day now, any day now, any day now, yo it's coming soon, any day now, I don't know when, I don't know how, but it's coming soon, yo. The long walk of word soccer Dr. Jekyll with the honey came back a monster Could have been a product of the one and half this And channel my anger to take in Then we came to take the no angels on the outfield But angels on the corner Cause the devil gets bitter when he sees you doing better Couple of black minds stay on top like a header No comedy central but we stay drawn together I wouldn't have put this much time and effort in the hobby I'm trying to see the world, I'm trying to move somebody I'm a prophet, rewriting all the prophecies J pays the fools, I'm adding some policies Dreaming with my people, trying to get these fantasies Right to make a river to planets and galaxies I see where I want to be and I know how It is coming soon, any day now Listen for the sound of the lost cause Scream out with lost jaws The journey's never ended for the pin dance I don't know when, I don't know how But it's coming soon, any day now Any day now, any day now Yo, it's coming soon, any day now I don't know when, I don't know how But it's coming soon, any day now Thank y'all very much. My name is Mr. Composition. You can follow me on Instagram at Graffiti the Mind Sun, S O N, or my website, theabshow.com. Oh! Keep it going for Mr. Composition, you guys. <laughs> so you said you guys do an accident? Where'd you go? <laughs> you said you guys do an accident? Yeah, 18 wheeler, get it off the highway. It's like the bottom of the ashes seem like the ball's crushing it. Jeez. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Thank you for, for making it out here. That's all that happened. Jeez, right. Well, I have to ask you a question now. Yeah. Would you rather be on a desert island alone or with somebody I hate? Honestly, somebody I hate. Why is that? I'm um, curious. Because it's at least someone that hates it. There's an interesting word that I feel like you can, when you're on the, when you're on the island with someone, that those particular uh, things can change. <laughs> you know, it's like one of those things where it's like, why fight when you're on the island alone? You know. <laughs> good point, though. It's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought about that. That was just a consistently thing I was gonna hate to do. What's up, guys? Is that lo-fi you got going on right now? Yeah. Everybody jams the lo-fi these days. It's the work stuff. That's great. Round of applause for everyone who performed tonight. Great stuff. 
Sir, how did you feel when she was talking about white people? What did, what did, that, what did that do for you? Yeah. You're like, that's true. We deserve it. We're terrible people. Is that how white people feel? <laughs> so yeah, that's true. And we enjoy the riches of it. It's great. <laughs> I like it. You guys are fun. Yeah. Plenty of white friends out there. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> So I'm a poet, I'm gonna read a few poems for you guys, hope you enjoy them. Uh, yeah, like I said, we're from San Antonio, expansion tour, that's what we call what we're doing. We got into an accident, and I saw many of you were very moved, uh, and we wanted to know how to help. We do have merch. Um, <laughs> of course, if you don't care at all, it's your prerogative. Uh, okay, Jesus is watching. All right, I'm going to read The first two are short, I'm just going to level myself up. This first one is called Contrast. Uh, Giants eat with trillion dollar spoons the size of Georgia. 20,000 men run from their crumbs as they strike the ground like bombs till 100 million monks stare out of the windows at their long lost gardens. Prayers roar like an engine in the heart of an earth-sized lion and the cement of a new city hardens in the air next to mud pies. That's that first one. Just to warm me up a little bit. Woo! Get you ready for some deep stuff. This one's a little short too. That one's called Contrast. This one's called Mad King. I wonder the degree of transformation to make wings suitable for the lingering morning sky, where time and clouds rivet and disperse. Do we still have gods among us? Are we strong enough to command angels themselves? Any strong men in the village or women at the stream's mouth? I break bread with the homeless, still homeless, with travelers in a Another foreign land, unfazed by the topography and of, of hilarious identity and its changing reign of mad kings. I swear heaven is only steps away, but I walk slow under the gravity of compassion, stuffing my verses with the battle lines I'm zigging and zagging to cross. I'll fight every war keeping you from seeing God and 20 more if they withhold your lips from me. Woo! Yeah. All right, I'm gonna finish it off. With this poem, it's called 2018, the last three years I've written a poem for the year. That is my book, Ballerina. I've written six books in six months, and they're on my website. There's six more to go, 12 books in 12 months. And check me out, kinyo.org, or find me on Instagram, kinyohq, or Snapchat, if you want to see some stuff on Snapchat, kinyohq. 2018. As an adult, you have to be curious about why your dreams aren't catching up to you. There's still racism, really? There's still no good way for us to work on poverty? We're romanticizing the struggle of artists and entrepreneurs? Still, really, I think we've moved much further. I think we can grasp larger things and bigger visions. America tipped all the way over and showed a brand new side of itself, naked and afraid on the top of a mountain of change with not enough good ideas, but immediately at the same time, we started getting Betty better. Every individual voice got tough overnight with eyes wide open. We started asking each other questions that really mattered and, and getting real answers. We, me too, the social revolution. This year I'm going to wake up every morning with the same mission on my mind. Find every opportunity to become a person whose actions has an actual and intentional effect on the people around me. Thousands of people watched my videos last year. Hundreds of people attended my shows. That's not a post. It's a number, and if we've learned anything about numbers, a billion can be nothing. Like a billion dollars spent that still led hurricane children, poverty stricken toddlers, and a million young minds slipped through the cracks. So when I look at my numbers, I wonder why I stole so much attention and made so little change. How often did I let hard work fall on death value? Not just my hard work, your hard work, your book, your painting, your drive to my show at the end of a long day. Your 15 minutes on your couch, watching a video on your phone, this is the art of 2018. We are really listening to each other. I won't wait another moment. All the words I speak now will be the bricks of a castle. Every notch on my schedule will be forced to answer to my demands for value. I won't spend another day letting good art spoil. We won't spend another day letting good art spoil. We'll march down every moment of time feeling blessed. We'll focus our attention on things that are truly beautiful. We'll harness our energy to build structures, systems, and strategies that are inspired by excellence. This year, we're going to flatten our destinies into pathways for love. And out of love, we'll birthday new ideas that give us buildings that we can dance in forever. Learning the rhythm of our future, discovering our place in the universe. I know you've heard words like this before, but this time we have what works alone are missing. In this city, 
are people who know better and have the ability to speak to each other and let each other speak. So here's the blueprint. Save your money when you're at Walmart or Target. Put at least $40 back in your pocket every week and walk it down the street to the show of your choice and find new vendors and buy from them. Pause the next episode in your streaming queue. Go to the pages and videos and blogs of someone you know. Write a comment and share two posts. Next time there's an event, don't go to the event. Make an event of going to the event. Call the person you met last week and ask them if they want to go with you. You like that, I'm sure, right? <laughs> That's it. Those three things will save the more complicated methods for the future because I'm not sure if you know this, but 50 people can change the world. 50 people who love life like it's a warrior can discover that scars are where wings are born and stars are where we come from. These years are lagging behind. I shouldn't even have to know what a group of men holding tiki torches looks like. Tiki Torch was bought from Walmart, inspired by some tribe somewhere. The details of impediments are hilarious, but there's a tribe somewhere else with good music, nice hats, and bright ideas, and I think this is the year that they make ropes out of their hearts and learn to travel back in time inside our minds to change the future. I know that we all get a shot. I'm kidding you. Thanks, guys.